So even with restrictions in place, electric scooters are still very popular throughout the world. If you go out for a walk, chances are you will see someone riding an electric scooter. There are so many different designs and features to choose from, so to help you out, especially with holiday season around the corner, I have handpicked a bunch of new good looking electric scooters from various different online stores. So today I bring you four cool electric scooters that you can buy right now priced under 500. So beginning with the cheapest first and then working our way up. First up we have the Mega Wheels S10 BK. This is a budget electric scooter currently priced for £208 in the UK or US$279. dollars. You have 8.5 inch solid tyres so you don't need to worry about ever getting a puncture. You have a wooden board to stand on with aluminium alloy metal frame with small kickstand at the bottom and next to it you will see the charging port. Now this scooter has a 250 watt motor which can achieve top speeds of up to 25 kilometers per hour or with a maximum range of 22 kilometers. There is a small round LCD display showing you your current speed, battery life and a choice of three different speed modes and the option to switch on your LEDs on or off. And the triple front LEDs do look quite nice and there is also a rear LED too. On the handlebars you will find your electronic brake on the left and your throttle on the right. And the scooter is foldable and to fold you just lift up the clip, pull back the lever and this will unlock the main bar allowing you to fold down and secure on top of the rear wheel and I must add this scooter weighs only 11.5 kgs so nice and light and easy to transport. So how would I rate the Mega Wheels S10 BK? Well I would give it a 4 out of 5 for the quick acceleration, build quality is average, comfort level is 2 out of 5 because there are no shock absorbers and you can feel and also hear the vibrations. And the battery life and range is also ok. So total average score for Mega Wheels S10 BK is 3 out of 5. And the next scooter is the Microgo V2. This one is priced 269 in the UK and 375 in the US, bringing us to the budget slash mid-range category. Now you have 8.5 inch solid puncture proof airless tyres, you've got a full metal body and board construction with a very nice rubber grippy texture to stand on. Now you do have a small built-in kickstand and on the other side of the board you will find your charger port. Now this scooter is powered by a 350 watt motor which can achieve top speeds of up to 30 km per hour with a maximum range of up to 30 km. Now we do have a small LCD display showing you your current speed, battery life and speed modes. There is also a flashing Bluetooth icon meaning you can connect to a smartphone app which I will show you in a second. Also there are three modes that you can change between and you have your controls for your LED lights. Now quick look at the smartphone app available for both Android and iOS, super easy to pair up and then you can control a bunch of functions like your headlights, change between the three speed modes, see your speed in real time and there is even turn by turn navigation software built in and you have a bunch of settings to play around with along with self diagnostics to make sure everything is running as it should. On the front you have bright dual LEDs and on the rear you have your rear brake lights and this scooter also features underboard blue LEDs which also looks quite nice. And coming back to the handlebars you have a rear mechanical brake and a front electronic brake. And on the right side of the handlebars you have your throttle and a bell. Now this scooter does fold down but it is a bit tricky to do it first time especially if you're not doing it right. So from the user manual the correct way is to slightly push forward on the handlebars so ideally against a wall which will make it easier for you. Then step down on the lever using your foot whilst applying that forward pressure to the handlebars and it will unlock. The scooter then folds completely down and clicks itself into place. And this scooter weighs only 11.5 kgs, so nice and easy to transport. Alright, so time to give the Microgo V2 my rating. So for acceleration, I rate it 3 out of 5. Top speed, 4 out of 5. The build quality is pretty decent, so 4 out of 5. Comfort levels when driving is 3 out of 5. And the battery slash range is 4 out of 5. So the Microgo V2 achieves a total average score a 4 out of 5. So the next scooter we are looking at is the iScooter 9. 
priced at 339 in the UK and 399 in the US. This is a mid-range electric scooter and it features 8.5 inch solid puncture proof airless tires. You have a full metal body and board with IP54 rating so protect it against rain. You have a nice rubber grippy texture to stand on with built-in kickstand and charger port at the bottom. Now this scooter is powered by a 350 watt motor which can achieve top speeds of up to 25 kilometers per hour with a maximum range of up to 25 kilometers. Now we do have a small LCD display for your speed, battery and modes. On the left we have a bell and mechanical rear disc brake with rear brake lights activating every time you press the brake handle. And on the other side we have our throttle for acceleration. You have three speed modes to play with and the same button also controls the LED lights. So you have a single front LED light and a rear brake light too. The folding mechanism is very quick and easy. Simply push the clip upwards and pull the lever back and then the main bar is unlocked so you can fold it right down and secure it into place. This scooter weighs 13.5 kgs and is fairly easy to transport. All right, so time to give my rating to the iScooter 9. So acceleration, three out of five. Top speed, three out of five. Build quality, pretty decent, four out of five. The comfort is also quite good, four out of five. And the battery slash range is three out of five. So total average score for the iScooter 9 is three out of five. So the fourth and final scooter to share with you guys is the Kugu Kirin S4. This is another mid-range electric scooter priced at £453 in the UK and £582 in the US. You have 10 inch pneumatic airfield tyres, so yes they can eventually get punctured but offers the smoothest drive possible. You have a full metal body and board with non-slip grippy finish on the board. There is a built-in kickstand and a charger port right next to it. This scooter is powered by a 350 watt motor which can achieve top speeds of up to 35 kilometers per hour and a pretty decent range of up to 40 kilometers. Now there is a large LCD display showing you your speed, system temperatures, battery information and controls for your lights and modes with three speed modes that you can choose from. And you do have a single front LED light and a rear brake light too. Now on the handlebar you will also find your rear mechanical brake, a bell and your usual throttle on the right. The folding mechanism is nice and easy, just twist the inner clip and push the lever inwards to unlock the main bar which you can then fold right down and secure into place. This is also another lightweight electric scooter weighing only 11.5 kgs making it nice and easy to transport. Okay, I'm going to rate my experience with the Kugu Kirin S4. Acceleration is kind of slow to pick up, so 2 out of 5 acceleration, but it then picks up to the top speed of 35 km per hour, which is great. So rating it 4 out of 5 for top speed. Build quality is impressive, so 5 out of 5. The scooter does offer a pretty comfortable drive, so 4 out of 5. Battery and range, 4 out of 5. So the Kugu Kirin S4 achieves a total average score of 4.5 out of 5. So there you have it guys, four brand new electric scooters tested and rated. And here is a quick top four. My personal favorite from the bunch has to be the MicroGo V2. It's very well made, feature packed with under LED lights, has a smartphone app, decent acceleration and speed, and is priced only 269. Now the Kugu Kirin S4 offers the most comfortable ride from the bunch. However, acceleration is a little bit slow, so it does take a while to get to that top speed. Now that being said, this is a very well-made scooter, premium in quality, smoothest ride ever with a nice large LCD display. Now the iScooter 9 at number three offers a very good build quality with IP54 rating and a comfortable ride, but it lacks in range. And finally, the Mega Wheels S10 BK is an entry level, cheap build quality, lacks range and speed, but it does have very quick acceleration. And it's also very light to carry around. So I think it's a good idea to quickly compare the handlebar heights. 
So handlebar height is not adjustable. So if you're a tall person, you're going to want a tall handlebar. And if you're a short person, then a short handlebar height will suit you. So looking at them all side by side, the Kugu Kirin S4 has the tallest handlebars. Second place is the Mega Wheels S10 BK. And then it's the Micro Go V2. And finally, the shortest handlebar height is the iScooter 9. So I guess there's something for everyone. These are some of the coolest scooters you can buy right now for under 500. And that being said, I will share the links for all the scooters you've just seen in the description box below. And if I can get hold of any discount codes, I will certainly be sharing them too. You guys know which one I like. Let me know in the comments which one you would go for. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.